know, it's a four to one ratio. So you get the carrier and it drops down to nothing. Goes to four times what it was to start with. And uh, so if you use that same train of thought, well, the idea of having nothing in your background makes me your voice.
Oh, me and the team, he uses clam juice. That's how he gets out and gets down. Hello, Motor Mouth Mall. Cat box from the other team. I'm leaving. Now, wait, 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 hold on. What, what does he use, sir? Cat box? I mean, we use it cat juice or something like that. We have clam juice. Uh, some kind of beans and clam juice to, to get that thing to sound like that. What was the secret to break? Yeah, you got it right. It's clam juice. Clam juice. Look, 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 he's cheating. He's cheating. Good evening to you. I'm waving a hand at a mean machine while he's up here by the evergreen. I'm getting back. I'll tell you what I gotta do. Uh, a, mean, a mean machine. I, I, the cat box spilled the beans there. A uh, mean machine. Cat box spilled the beans. He said that you're uh, you're cheating. <laughs> Something. I turned my gain up, I could hear him. <laughs> and I, I can't get it from the store. I can't get it from that store. I have to go to the other store. I gotta go to the goodie store. I gotta go to I gotta go to Bullet Bob to get it. And you say he sells it in twenty ounce cans? Ooh, I, I need I, I need enough to fill out about a twenty two pound bottle to break. Bullet Bob ran off with my recipe. He, he took off with a jug of the clam juice from the break. I don't know where he is. He's not in the air right now. But Bullet Bob, he took off some clam juice from the break. So I guess uh, 918 must have got some from Bullet Bob. Tell him 918 it's been cut. Tell him it's been stepped on. Tell him that clam juice has been stepped on. But you see how good it is? You see how good that clam juice works? That motor mouth I'm getting back. Now, Cat Box, who said the clam juice just got stepped on, and it made a real big mess. I mean, I tell you what, I, I need a cleanup on aisle six out here. I need a doggone cleanup on aisle six right about now. <laughs> because she got out there and stepped in the clam juice and smeared it around a bit there. Ain't no doubt about that. <laughs> her mouth got down very right? well, That's close enough. That's close enough, Motor Mouth Ma. <laughs> I'm working with the original recipe. I'm working with the original recipe. Tell 918, good evening to him. I'll get back out of the middle of the street. But he's using clam juice. I'll see you now. Bye-bye. Well, Ford and the Mean Machine, for 10 cat box. And there's somebody else out there who's sideshow. They, they, they're talking to somebody up there. I'm not sure who they're talking to, but they're... They're saying he's talking to Catbox. They didn't say Catbox. Hey, Catbox, somebody up there around your neck of the woods called you Litterbox. Litterbox, okay. Anyway, somebody out there was telling somebody else that somebody was talking to somebody, and and they got enough, they, didn't get, they got enough uh, fire in the wire or something to show here to get up in here and be part of the mix. Uh, they don't need to be uh, up on the side there. They got a hammer. So whoever that was joined the fun to break. That was the chicken farmer. Hey, uh, motor mouth, that was the uh, chicken uh, herder. Chicken herder, not farmer, but chicken herder. The man with the individual toed socks down there out on the Columbia. You got, you got chicken herders? You got chicken herders up north? Holy smokes. Uh, okay, you say that was the chicken herder, the bark. Yeah, yeah, that's Sir Bakes a lot. That, that's Baker Man. He probably called me that. If not, it was probably Slam Dunk or, well, hell, just about any of them. 
<laughs> just about, it could be about anybody. <laughs> it might as well be hurting chickens. I'm getting up. Well, they should be they should be ashamed of themselves for hurting their chicken. You gotta do it painlessly and quickly because if you hurt them, they just get mad. The adrenaline starts flowing, and then they start tasting real bad, and they get kind of tough. You can't just hurt them. You gotta do it quick. <laughs> Done. Then they're better. They break. I'm, I'm Ted Roger. I'm like, what? No, herder, like a sheep herder. <laughs> not, 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 not causing bodily harm, but protecting the flock and guiding them from pasture to pasture. That kind of herder. <laughs> Only with chickens, I'm back. Oh, okay. Because I'm glad you clarified. about the people that protect the chickens and, and keep the chickens going down the right path. A chicken herder. Okay, I got you. I heard you that time to break. Yeah. We could be hurting cats too, but I heard that's tough. <laughs> Alright. I'm only talking by somebody's good grace, I'm sure. Good evening to you, Motormouth Mall. Thanks for uh, putting my name in the Hall of Fame and letting me be part of your talk show. I'm going to put the green light back on here and get it back where I belong. Motormouth Mall, cat box. I'm easing up. Well, I'm glad to hear you're going to put the green light back on, cat maker, but I... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, mean machine, 711, uh, cat box. Y'all got to watch out now. Brown paper bag came out, and he put a bulletin out there. He said, it ain't, it ain't their turn to burn. A uh, 709, you said that it ain't their turn to burn all the way out there from Spokane, Washington. I'll tell you what, I heard you, I did the break. Not hurt, heard. I got down. <laughs> the green lights on, like I would say. Bye, 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 bye. What's in the bag? We'll find out. I'm getting back. Let me get out of here. Captain McGain ain't gonna tell me about this chicken herder. Let me get out of the middle of the road. Captain McGain not gonna tell me what's going on. Hey, 918 said, have a good evening. He's up there by the Canadian border and he's rolling on there. Breaker, breaker. Let me make a quick phone call. I'll be right back. Chin Roger. Chicken hurt. Hey, yeah, 26 degrees below zero. More than my mouth had a hammer down in my ears, big brother. But I heard you say something about me not telling you about no hurting chickens. But it's it ain't a whole lot to it. Sorry about the swallowing and such there. I just had to wet my whistle. I'm a <laughs> I ain't heard of that occupation, Count Meg. Get on out of there with that madness, I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 man. I make cat calendars for lesbians, and so that's what I do. I'll see you at 26 degrees. Baby boy, Sacramento, getting on down. All right, Count Meg. I'm going to pull the cat making power from the duck plugging uh, tower, man. I'll talk to you later, but you got to get out of there with that cat making madness. A chicken herder. Let me write this down. We're going to pick this up later, man. I'm going to be 10-7. Pump it down on you later. 26 0 uh, Hey, uh, 918, did you say Baby Boy came out of new, uh, nowhere and dropped a big old hammer in your radio? Is that what? 10 Roger 26. I believe you're off the key. Now we're going to be in between them. Old motor mouth got back on the hammer. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about liquor ball sandwiches and uh, and 
and uh, well, I don't know. We can make more stuff up. But I'll see ya. Put it on here where we can. 26 degrees below zero. Box in the green. I'll see you now. I talk to you another day. Shut down, boy. You did not done yourself. Hey, you did not done yourself, Cat Me. You up there raising chicken hurdles, Cat Me. Get on out of there. <laughs> Cat Box 26 zeros 10 something. I'll see you. Click in. Cat Roger 26 zero. I don't know what's so funny about it. <sighs> I don't know what you find so funny about hurting chickens. See ya. Put it on where we can. I heard you all the way through. 26-0 box in that corner getting on down. Monkey bars to the end of it and dropped off. I'd buy land in your front yard to break. Well, I tell you what, all I know, Cat Me, uh, Cat Me got that hurt. And Roger on the voice of the Central Coast of California. <laughs> well, I can't say that because that's, uh, that's... Bushes until my turn to buy. Bush California and so on. Yeah, I can't be. But I'm the voice of the Central Coast of California and beyond the break. Oh, hey, bye. Bye, Robbie, for back. For a second, I do. You take care now. Oh, more mouse got my ears pinned back. But I got on the gate. We are rolling the water gate, and I'm back quiet. Within shot of my station, cat box waving. Bring the headphones on, and I'll listen to it later tonight. Ain't no doubt about that. Hey, hey uh, 918, I will be listening, ain't no doubt. Motormouth Mall waving one more time, and he's in up around that big bad mobile. Motormouth Mall stepping in 709, I heard you, I did, Ray. Central Coast to Cali, I got down. 